Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to be solving the following exponential simultaneous equations using the substitution method. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, I have 2 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of y equals to 10. And second equation, 2 to the power of x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of y plus 1, all equal to 29. I'm going to rewrite my equation. For the first one, I still have my 2 to the power of x plus 3y equals to 10. For the second equation, I'm going to break up the exponent. That will be 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 1 plus 3 to the power of y times 3 to the power of 1 equals to 29. Remember, laws of exponents states that if I have x to the power of a times x to the power of b, because the base of the same is the same as x to the power of a plus b. Likewise, if I have y to the power of a plus b, Breaking it down is the same as y to the power of a times y to the power of b. So that's my equation 1 and equation 2. Let m, m equals 2 to the power of x because it's common to both equations. And let n equals 3 to the power of y. So rewriting my equation, equation 1 now becomes every occurrence of 2x, I replace it with m. So that will be m plus, and every occurrence of 3 to the power of y, I replace it with n. That's 10, that will be equation 3, and equation 2 becomes 2m plus 3n equals to 29. That's equation 4. So from equation 3, from equation 3, I have m plus n equals to 10. I'm going to make m my subject of formula. So my m equals 10 minus n. That will be my equation 5. So substitute equation 5 into Equation 4. I'm not going to use equation 3 anymore because that's where I made m subject of formula to be 10 minus n. So I'm going to be using my second equation, which is equation 4. So every occurrence of m, I'm going to replace it with 10 minus n, that's plus 3n equals to 29. Expand the brackets, collect like terms. That'll be 2 times 10, 20 minus 2n plus 3n equals to 29. Therefore, minus 2n plus 3n, that's n, equals 29. If I take 20 to the other side, n equals to 9. Remember, we already stated that our n equals to 3 to the power of y. So replacing that, I have n equals to 3y. Therefore, it equals to 9. If I change the base, 3y equals to 3 squared because 3 times 3 is 9. And since the base are the same, I'm going to equate the powers. So therefore, my y equals to 2. Going back to my fifth equation, that's m equals 10 minus n. I know that my n is 9, so replacing n, I have m equals 10 minus 9. Therefore, my m equals to 10 minus 9, 1. I know that my m equals to 2 to the power of x. So 2 to the power of x, which equals to m, equals to 1. Therefore, 2 to the power of x equals 2, because I'm going to put them in the same base, the power of 0. Any number of variable to the power of 0 is 1. Therefore, because the base are the same, I'm going to equate the powers. So my x is equal to 0. Let's look at the other example. In my second example, I have 2 to the power of x minus 5 to the power of y equals to 7, my first equation, and my second equation, 
2 to the power of x minus 1 plus 5y equals to 41. I'm going to rewrite both equations. I still have my 2 to the power of x minus 5 to the power of y equals to 7. And for the equation, second equation, like I did in the previous example, that's going to be 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of minus 1 plus 5 to the power of y equals to 41. This is my new equation 1 and this is my new equation 2. Let P, because I have the same exponent, let P equals 2 to the power of x and let Q equals 5 to the power of y. So rewriting my first equation, I'm going to have P, that's 2x, minus Q equals 7. That will be my third equation. And for my equation 2, I'm going to have P times 2 minus 1, which is the same as 1 over 2. So that's P over 2 plus Q equals to 41. And that will be my fourth equation. I got that from, if I have a negative exponent, A to the power of minus 1 is the same as 1 over A. Or if I have a to the power of minus x is the same as 1 over a to the power of positive x. Now I have my two simultaneous equations, p minus q equals to 7, and p over 2 plus q equals to 41. Using the substitution method from equation, from equation 3, if I make p the subject of formula, p will be equal to... 7 plus q. So I'm going to substitute p equals 7 plus q into equation 4. So every occurrence of p, I replace it with 7 plus q. My equation 4 becomes 7 plus q over 2 plus q equals to 41. To take out the fraction, I'm going to multiply each term by 2 whatever you do on the left, you do on the right. So my new equation becomes 7 plus q, 7 plus q, plus 2q, equals 82. Collecting like terms, I'm going to take this out. Collecting like terms, I have 7 plus 3q, 7 plus 3q equals to 82. Take out 7 from both sides. I have 3q equals 82 minus 7. That's 75. Therefore, q equals 75 divided by 3, which is 25. Already, I stated that my p is 2x, while my q is 5x. So Q is 5x, or 5 to the power of Y, sorry, which is equals to 25. I'm going to change that to the same base, 5Y equals to 5 squared. And because the base are the same, I'm going to equate the powers. So therefore, my Y equals to 2. If my Y is 2, if I go back to equation 3, that has been changed to P equals to 7 plus Q, my P will be equal to 7 plus Q. I got my Q to be 25. So that will be P equals 25 plus 7. That's 32. My P is 2 to the power of X. So I have 2 to the power of X equals to 32. Change that to the same base. That's equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because the base are the same, my exponents are the same, or they're going to be the same, so therefore my x equals to 5. Thanks for watching. Bye.